www.exclusives.co.uk Follow us on Twitter. Good evening and welcome to King's Meadow for www.footballexclusives.co.uk coverage of tonight's eagerly anticipated Ryman League Premier Division playoff semi-final between Kingstonian and AFC Hornchurch. With the regular season now completed and Wilson confirmed as league champions, the Ryman League season has come to a thrilling conclusion as runners-up Kingstonian have home advantage over fifth-placed AFC Hornchurch in this one-legged semi-final. There must be a result tonight and we wait to see whether it is the Kays or the Urchins who prevail to, to face the winners of the second semi-final which is between Bognor Regis Town and Lowestoft Town. And so to the team lineups. Kingstonians hopes to rest with the following players this evening. In goal is number one Rob Tolfrey. At two is Aaron Good. Three Joss Casey. Four Matt Drage. Five is the captain Sam Page. Six is Daniel Papo. Seven Daniel Sweeney. Eight Steve Laidler. Nine Ryan Ross. Ryan Moss I beg your pardon. Ten Andre McCollin. And eleven D Okaji. Meanwhile, the visitors from Essex AFC Hornchurch will line up as follows. Spanish keeper Inigo Echepari wears the number one shirt and number two is Dave Rainford. At three is Phil Starkey. Elliot Styles, the captain, is number four with Ricky Howes at five and Frankie Curley wearing number six. At seven is Tempeson Aeong. Eight is Joey May. Nine is Stephen Payne. Ten, George Purcell. And eleven, Chris Bourne. No Payne lays the ball off beautifully for May. But the break the tap breaks down there and Kingsonia look long down the flanks. And Ryan Moss, the bearded striker, has the ball wide off the left hand side of the uh, right hand side of the penalty area. Sets the ball back to his strike partner McCollin. Left footed into the box. And that's a great ball. Oh, and it narrowly, narrowly goes wide at the far post. Oh. Trage has his clearance half blocked there, and again Hornshirts pick the ball up. There's Chris Bourne. May mis miscontrols and uh, Kingstonian come, come again. There's Dan Sweeney. Down to Ryan Moss and he's full speed it very quickly drills the ball across and McCollin! Just wide at the far point. In fact it wasn't McCollin, it was the deep break from the, from the central midfielder. It was Dan Papo I believe. And Kingstonian break forward again. Aaron Good checks back and gets support from Steve Laidler. Laidler driving in. He's got space in front of him and the Hornshirts defence back off but he's uh, checked and there's Aaron Good again looking to go to the byline to deliver a cross if possible. But again, double teams. But he, ma he makes short work of both players there. Aaron Good gets across and gets, his, gets the ball across. Excellent play. Here's Papo with a volley and just wide of Echepare's post. Excellent play from Aaron Good, the Kingstonian right back there. And Daniel Pepo looking like he's going to be a threat from his deep midfield position. A good wide ball this time for the Kays. And uh, Aaron Good drills a flat right footed cross. Oh, and Aeong did well to reach that to stop it getting to Okaji on the far side. But there's Sweeney, and he's challenged from behind by number 11, Chris Bourne. And the Kays have a free kick in a very dangerous area. 25 yards from goal and pretty central. We've got Andre McCollin over the ball and I think that's Dan Sweeney on the left hand side of it. So it'll be McCollin with a left foot or, Mc or Sweeney with a right. Uh, my money's on uh, Andre McCollin here and indeed he strikes. And oh, that was so close. The crowd around me thought that had gone in the top corner. That was narrowly wide of, wide of Echepari's right hand post as he stands and almost in the top corner. A great strike from Andre McCollin there. Curly out jumps Moss there, heads the ball back towards the Kingstonian area. But again, Daniel Pepo bringing it out, looking for Joss Casey. Those, those two have combined well to bring the ball away for Kingstonian so far this evening. Ball forward from Casey, he finds McCollin just outside the area. He's got one man and hits a left foot last wind drive. Swerving away from Echepari's post. It wasn't actually ever going in, but it was a good strike and a warning to the Hornchurch defence there. Stoney looking dangerous inside the penalty area now. It comes back, there's McCollin, strikes it hard, hits the, the back of Aeon and goes out for a throw in. And it looks like if there's going to be a goal, it's going to be coming from the home side at the moment as they pile pressure on the Urchins goal. McCollin comes across to take the corner and the K's choir start to get into full voice. 
all the big men forward for King Sonia at this set piece. There goes McConnell's left footed in swinger. And now the keeper has not got there. It's probably looking lost. And there's Papo. Bl shot his blocks. Laidlaw swings, but that's high and not very handsome. Here's Aaron Good. Back to Laidler. Laidler's got plenty of space and he's not being closed down. He'll deliver a right footed cross. And there's a header! Just over the bar from Ryan Moss. And Hornchurch are at sixes and sevens here. Frankie Curley was just looking at Steve Laidler, didn't close him down. Pinpoint crossing, he found his man and Moss from eight yards out. Powerful header, just a foot over the crossbar. Page. Finds it out wide to Okaji. Two men on him, but he holds the ball up well. He's a skillful player, is the Okaji. And the ball goes out with some width on the far side. Kingsonian to the far post as McCollin hits it back. Oh, and it was almost to the feet of Moss, but Echapare, the goalkeeper, does very well there. Gets down, holds the ball. Great build up play for Kingsonian, and it looks like a case of when and not if the opening goal will come. Joey May places the ball then to take a, a right-footed in-swinging corner from the far side for, for the visitors here. That's good delivery under the crossbar and headed in! Opening goal for the Urchins! And that looks like Ricky Hiles! And he celebrates like it's one of the most important goals of the season for AFC Hornchurch, who of course it is. Much against the run of play, Kingston have had the better of this. And it was Joey May's quality on his delivery there, putting pressure on Tolfrey in the Kingstonian goal. And Ricky Hales rose in the middle of goal to head home for about three yards out. And it's Kingstonian nil, AFC Hornchurch won, 55 minutes played. And Ryan Moss collects that, does the good hold-up play for the centre forward, works for his team, sets it back, but gives it straight to Aon. But he's pickpocketed there by Laidler. And a great inter in fact it was Casey, I beg his pardon, and a good interchange with Charlie Knight there. And Kinsana go forward, here's Okaji, and Okaji is through on goal! Can he equalise? And he shoots low to Echapara, is there, but a good save by the Spaniard. The first chance that King Sonia had to get back into this game since going behind. We've had 68 minutes played now. It's still King Stonia nil. AFC Hornchurch won. Josh Casey collects the ball wide left, just inside the Hornchurch half. Clipped towards the centre of the box. It goes to the far post and a shot just wide at the far post from Matt Drage. It stayed up from the free kick. Free kick on the far side. And they surprisingly put the ball into the box. And there's a header, and it's hit the post. Ricky Hales again. The man who scored the first goal unchallenged heads against the upright. Less than three minutes of additional time still remain, but they have a corner which Charlie Knight will take. And you can tell it's desperate because Rob Tolfrey, the Kingstonian goalkeeper, is up in the opposition box. To Charlie Knight with the corner on the left hand side for the K's. Everybody but everybody forward for Kingston. In goes the ball. One at the far post and headed just wide. It looked like it was Drage that got the header there and it drifted wide of the left hand post. Tolfrey would jog back to his goal and it was a good delivery from uh, Charlie Knight there. Still two minutes of the additional five to play here at Kings Meadow. Kingstonian trail by a single goal to Hornchurch. A poor kick from Echepare. Gate reaches halfway and uh, Trage puts it forward and it's a chance here. And, and Moss goes down and the referee waves away the penalty appeals. And that is the time up. So it's now just the referee's indulgence. The five minutes of minimum additional time has gone. It just depends on what Paul Howard, the referee, will add on. Down the line, it goes from Billy Coyne. And there is the whistle. It's finished, Kingstonia nil. IFC Hornchurch won. And unfortunately, handbags here on the halfway line. Tempers flare, but it's Hornchurch. The Urchins are going to go through to the final. They've won by a single goal from Ricky Hales in the 55th minute. And as it stands, it looks like on Sunday they will travel on Monday, sorry, Bank Holiday Monday, they will travel to Lowestoft Town, who have beaten Bo Bank Bognor Regis Town by two goals to one.